If you've recently looked at the prices of any 3DS console, you've probably seen that they are pretty expensive. You know, like on the low end, they're about $100. On the high end, some of them are selling for like three to $400. Now that's just way too much money. And I know a lot of people can't afford that. And it's tough to be able to spend that much money all up front to buy a 3DS, even though it's a really fun console. So even though the current value of every single 3DS console is extremely high, there are definitely still some ways to get a 3DS at a budget-friendly cost. So I made a list of several different ways that you yourself can buy a 3DS console without breaking the bank. So the first and probably the easiest way to get a 3DS for a cheap cost or kind of for free in a way is going to a video game store and trading in all of your old video games or consoles now there are some negatives slash like cons to this method but i'll get to that in a second but basically you bring in your old video games to a video game shop and then they price it all out for you and they give you a a set price or amount of either cash or trade-in credit if you're going to trade it in for a 3ds like take the trade-in credit because that credit is usually worth more than the cash that they would actually give you. So like this is a really easy method and it's really quick because you don't have to do much work. Literally all you do is bring the games to a store and then they price it out for you. And if the price is right, then you could walk out with a 3DS. Just basically trade up your video games for a 3DS. But the downside is that you're not going to get as much value out of these games as you would just selling it on your own like on eBay or Mercari or something. But it's definitely like the quickest way. But if you don't care about getting top dollar, this is probably the best method for you. Now, similarly, you could also just sell your own video games like on eBay and Mercari. This way you will get the top dollar for your items. You can get it whatever the, you could sell it at whatever the current market value is at. But the only downside to this is you're gonna have to do the work. You're gonna have to sit on the item if it doesn't sell for a while. Video games usually sell pretty quick though. So you might not run into that issue, but you're gonna have to you know, wait until everything sells, until you earned enough money to go out and buy a 3DS. And you're also going to have to ship out the item by packaging. I mean, you have to ship it out, go to the post office and everything. It's really easy, but, you know, it can be a lot of work depending on how many video games you actually have. Personally, this is one of my favorite methods because I don't mind putting in the work. I don't mind, like, holding on to things for and waiting for them to sell. It's worth it if you want the most money possible because you could also probably save up money for 3DS and a few games, unless you're going to mod your 3DS, then, you know, you just mod it and get some extra 20 bucks. Personally, this is my favorite method of getting video games or anything video game related at a lower cost is at a garage sale or a thrift shop. So this is definitely the most fun way. And, uh, you know, you just go to garage sales, thrift shops, you know, garage sales and thrift shops are usually very cheap. You know, every now and then somebody asks a crazy price for something that's just, it's just not realistic. And if anyone has a crazy price at a garage sale or a thrift shop, you could just say no or just walk away. You don't have to buy it, right? It's easier to find a thrift shop than it is to find a garage sale. You know, just look up on Google Maps or Apple Maps, thrift shop, and you're going to see a whole bunch in your area, probably, most likely, as long as you don't live in the middle of nowhere. And then garage sales, you know, there are apps where you can, like, find garage sales, or you can just drive around and see, look out for signs and everything that say garage sale. Garage sales are typically a little cheaper than thrift shops. I mean, I guess depending on what part of the country you live in. And the great thing about a garage sale is that if you're walking around and you don't see anything that you want or any video games, you ask the owner of that house or the garage sale if they have any video games inside, if they're willing to, you know, bring it out. And that's how I ended up getting Pokemon Coliseum for the GameCube. I got it for $5 at a garage sale because I asked the person if they have any video games. And typically at a garage sale, people are just trying to get rid of things. So, you know, they'll bring in a 3DS, be like, I don't know, $10, $20, even if it's like, even if it's $30, that's still a really really good deal for a 3ds i'd say a garage sale is probably the cheapest possible way to get a 3ds other than a thrift store i think a thrift store is the second cheapest way because thrift stores typically know kind of what they have some thrift stores price up items a lot like they put ebay prices out there and then some just have you know like ten dollars or twenty dollars you could also find things at pawn shops for a little bit cheaper but pawn shops you know, they do the research on everything. So it's definitely possible to get a 3DS for a large discounted price at a pawn shop, but I'd say at a pawn shop, you're still gonna probably spend a minimum of like 60, $50 maybe. One of the downsides though to garage sales and thrift shops is that they are really competitive and you know, 3DSs aren't everywhere. So it's not like you're gonna find a 3DS at every single garage sale or every single thrift shop. You're gonna have to most likely search for a long time so if you want a 3ds right now at this very moment i wouldn't recommend this method because it's probably not going to happen for a long time 
But even though it might take a long time, it's still 100% possible. Like I see videos all the time of people online, you know, TikTok and YouTube, getting a $5 DS or a $5 3DS, you know, a $5 Nintendo, NES, whatever. It's possible and they're out there. They're, you just have to ask and you have to be on the hunt for it. There's also a lot of competition at garage sales and thrift shops. So people might have already bought the 3DS or whatever you're looking for before you actually showed up. You know, video games are extremely, extremely popular right now and people are on the hunt for them always everywhere. So it's kind of hard to find exactly what you're looking for, but you know, it's always possible. You can also search on Facebook Marketplace for a cheap price. You know, this one's kind of hard because usually the best things on Facebook Marketplace or like the best deals usually go within seconds because people have like alerts on their phone and they have and they constantly refresh marketplace to wait for the good deals but i mean i've got a few good deals on marketplace before it's definitely possible you know and then you can just look on marketplace maybe you can also set an alert for your phone if there's any 3ds consoles that are newly listed on marketplace you could even negotiate with somebody on marketplace along with that you could also set an alert on like ebay and mercari and sort the newest listings to be at the very top because the newest listings is probably if you look at the newest listings, it's probably the highest chance to get a cheaper 3DS because sometimes people might not know the prices of it, so they price it for like 10, 15 bucks, or you know, maybe they don't even care, they just want to get rid of it, so they price it at 50 bucks, whatever. This one's unlikely, but it has happened. I found some good vintage t-shirts doing this method where I have an alert set or I'm looking frequently. You can also go out and ask a family member or a close friend because if they know that you really want this and they don't use it, you know, they just have it sitting in a drawer, or they forgot about it, the odds are they're probably gonna want you to have it. They're gonna wanna make you happy, so they're gonna either give it to you or sell it to you for a cheap cost. There are really a lot of ways to get a cheap 3DS. It kinda, you're gonna have to put some work into most of them though, such as, you know, hunting out at a garage sale or thrift shops. That's gonna be a lengthy process. I'd say the quickest one is probably trading in your video games at a video game shop, but you know, you're not going to get top dollar. You could sell it on eBay. Luckily, the video game market is really, really high right now. So video games sell really quick as long as it's like a desirable title. Like, like Wii Fit is not going to sell on eBay, but Wii Sports, anytime I've ever sold a Wii Sports, it literally sells within the same day. So the popular first party titles are the best games to sell online. Like Wii Sports, any Mario title, I'd say or NES games, SNES games, most of those are pretty hot right now. Pokemon games especially, oh my gosh, those are crazy. Those are a lot of money. If you wanna, if you have a Pokemon game, like for example, Pokemon Black and White 2, and you don't want it, you could probably sell that for roughly $130 maybe, pretty quickly, which you could probably just buy a 3DS with that, which is pretty cool. So, so I recommend looking around at what you have. Also, Legos, old Legos, typically have a lot of value. Lego, if you don't know, they retain their value. So if you have an old like Star Wars Lego set, look it up, it might be worth a lot of money. I've had some old childhood Lego sets that I unfortunately don't have anymore, but I, I had them and I've looked at the prices for them and they are ridiculous. They have skyrocketed because they retired, you can't get those minifigures anymore, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, just, just look around your house, see what you have, sell it, make it, you could put it on Marketplace, you could take it to a video game shop, sell it online. There's a lot of ways you could do, there's a lot of things you could do to make money. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other ways to get a cheap 3DS, leave it down below in the comments. I might have forgot something because I'm sure that there are other methods that I didn't even mention or didn't even think about. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.